Oh, they're chanterelle. wonderful. This is a chanterelle. But, but, but the bolites, if that thing is up about three days, they'll start the stalk, and then you've got these bugs in it, little worms in it. These guys, no, they're, they're, the ones back east, the chanterelles back east get bugs in it, but not these guys. So, How old is that one? This guy, that's probably several weeks. Several well, you, weeks ago. you picked that several weeks ago? No, no, we, we got it recently, but it was it was up. I can tell. So, so how long ago did you pick that? I, I picked it about. We picked it about. Uh, no, a week within the last week. And they stay pretty solid like that. Oh yeah. Because oh, yeah. some mushrooms they start to decompose almost no, no, immediately. These are amazing. But yeah, you can tell the the veins or the the. These things, the folds get different. So, so you found this kind of more lowland. What yeah. ele, what elevation would you say you found these? At? Fifteen hundred. Oh, Fifteen hundred, and you find them closer to fir trees. Fir trees and, and oak trees and poison oak. They like the poison oak. Oh. Yeah. And they're it's always they're always kind of that yellow color. Now look at this nice yellow. This is this is a stronger. This is a nice yellow. This is a younger mushroom. These are so, so good. They're nice. Craig made that uh, mushroom soup out of this. Oh, that was some of the best soup I've ever had in my life. But when you cook them, we went, we, this guy, uh, this uh, Joseph Schultz guy at India Joe's restaurant, he cooked them for the, for the Fungus Federation, for the... India uh, Joe's? Yeah. Yeah. So, so anyway, he was cooking them for his demo. He makes them scream. He has this wok. This is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to cook them. When you move them around in there to stir them around, they go, they squeak because you, when they when they hit the, when they're hot, they just, so you turn the burner up all the way hot. He doesn't use any oil at all, and and they, they release a lot of water. Like this will this will all it'll, it'll release water, and then it gets all uh, a whole bunch of water. Yeah, and, and then but you have them chopped up, and you cook them down so all the water's gone. It all goes back in the mushroom. Again. And then, you, then you, when you're all done, there's no water left. Do you cook them for a long time? No. Like About two minutes, three ten minutes? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. That's a long time. But, but you have them have it up all the way. Well, you got to cook all the water out. And then it's all done. And you put them in things. You, you, you usually cook them separately. You put them in the soup. You put them in the pasta or whatever else stuff. You and you have. find these for about two months out of the year? We, we've been, we found some... Some in October, I'd say October, November, here it is March, and you're still finding them. So five months out of the year you're finding them. Yeah, yeah. And when you do find them, you usually find them in kind of a batch. You don't just yeah. find one at a time. It's, it's hardly ever just one. Okay. And, and you find them a lot under the oak trees, but never on the wood. Never on the wood. Okay. Never on wood, never on wood. Okay. I can ID them. If you find some, I can ID them. Are they a brighter yellow in the ground? Yeah. They're kind of like this. This is a nice shit. See that yellow there? That's nice. That yellow. This is kind of fading. They have, this, this had different colors on it. And they, kind of and they stay good in the refrigerator for a week? Oh, yeah, easy. Yeah. Maybe two weeks? Oh. A week. But Chris has, she puts these uh, towels, damp towels above and below it. Okay. You don't, don't want to dry them out. The refrigerator's dry. All right. But, yeah. Cool. Thanks. The mushroom man. Yeah, well. <laughs>